do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter animal husbandry and in that we are studying topic seri culture now seri culture is rearing of silko so let's study and find out a little bit more about it Sericulture can be thought or it is a technique in which silk worms are reared, they are grown and finally silk cloth that's manufactured by them or through the byproduct that they give is used. Basically silk, the product or the thread that's obtained from silk worm rearing is very crucial in making certain saris or handloom products. Now this step is a diverse process. It involves cultivation or growing of mulberry tree, then fertilization of the silkworm, finally laying eggs and finally you get the silk thread. Sericulture. Now, if I talk about sericulture, it's the process in which breeding, growing, and management of silkworm is done. The insects that produces silk in forms of threads. Basically, the cocoon of the insects produces it, and you get raw pure silk from them, which is later used in industries, which is handloom or sari industries, to make silk products. Now, B. Mori is one of the silk worms that is available across India that secrete natural and raw silk, one of the best qualities. Now, cultivation of mulberry tree so that the silk worm can feed on the leaves of the mulberry tree, then waiting for the fertilization process, formation of egg, and once egg is laid, hatching of eggs, then formation of cocoons which will ultimately form your silk, are the few steps in sericulture. Ultimately, it all boils down to the formation of silk by this silk worm. So students, in this part of the chapter, we came across how sericulture is crucial. I hope you all are clear with this concept. Thank you.